Oh, okay, go ahead. He's in your back. He's in your back. He's really here in your back. Don't back up. No cars. No cars. Uh -huh. No cars. No cars. No cars. He's a big bird. Listen how loud it is. I'm zooming, yes. Yeah. So we found him without even having to look for him. Be watching behind you because. Man, that is a lot of geese. My goodness. Okay. Well, folks, today was very awful. I didn't even get the slightest bite. Did not catch a single thing. Not even a little nibble. Um, as far as the bottom walkers go, I think they would work in a different place than I was at, but the problem we ha I had was, uh, since it had the two wires going out, one on each side, they kept getting hung on each other somehow, about every two or three casts, and it sinks too slow, which means I think a two ounce weight is needed instead of a one. But the main problem I was having was this river has not had a good washout since last May. So all the dead leaves are on the, on the bottom of the river. And every time I'd reel that thing in and scoot it along the bottom, it would pick up about 10 dead leaves all over it. Uh, to the point where it was, <clears throat> it was every cast I was getting dead leaves. So I didn't uh, catch anything on it. And I eventually gave up on that altogether and just started fishing with uh, vertical jigs. Um, stayed till I could not see at all. Was driving the trolling motor in the complete darkness with a headlamp and uh, they still never did bite. <clears throat> the other thing that backfired on me was I wanted to get up at four in the morning five in the morning and be there at six i didn't get there to one o'clock because it rained from midnight all the way till noon it rained 12 hours straight not really heavy or anything and just a sprinkle uh so it did mess the water clarity up a little bit not too bad but i'm sure the weather had a lot to do with it and uh, also walleyes <clears throat> best known to bite on a full moon it was actually a new moon so or like a one day moon. Um, so, as far as those rigs go, uh, I think they would work better on a sand or rock bottomed water environment with no dead leaves. Maybe a different time of the year they'd be more productive, of course, and the heavier weight is needed. So, uh, I'm not giving up on those things. I am gonna try them again. Uh, depending on where I'm at, I'm going to switch the weight to uh, even double the size. And I think it would work good in a, in a pond or lake better than, or even catfishing it would where I was. Uh, one thing I was having, that thing would sink really slow. It would take like 15 to 20 seconds just to drop down 15 feet. 
so and I didn't have any heavier weights with me to replace it with so that's uh, another reason I gave up on it anyway uh, I was uh, I'm basically gonna give up for a while on the walleye uh, I'm just gonna wait till the middle of March when the crappie start biting if I do walleye it'll be one more time and it'll be on in two weeks from now when the full moon hits and weather permitting or if I'm even off work or whatnot, it might not be it might be in the middle of the week off the look at the schedule. But if I don't go, I may not be going at all for about three weeks until I start chasing those pre-spawn crappies uh, at the private lake I go to and the uh, river where I catch them at also two different spots. Um, so just be patient and stay tuned and I will be back. If you don't see me in two weeks, if, if I don't do a walleye trip one more time, you'll see me in about three weeks to a month uh, for some crappie action, and that'll and that'll last about a full four weeks. I'll be doing nothing but crappie fishing for four weeks straight, unless it gets really hot and they turn off quicker than they did last year or whatever. But all right, folks, take care and have a good night.